Alrighty, so we're back over at my buddy Pete's house, working on the truck again. What else is new? Well, we got a PO401 for EGR insufficient flow detected. Uh, we got a, we've got a feeling that it is the DPFE sensor. Which? This guy right here. Yeah. Uh, Delta uh, pressure, pressure feedback EGR. Yeah. Uh, however, we're going to verify it. We're not just going to throw parts at it. Correct, buddy? That's correct, because we're smarter than that. Yeah. Are, especially, over at, uh, especially over at uh, Fagella's Fix It Garage, right? That's it, man. We are as smart as they come, no matter what they say about me. Alrighty. We're going to uh, do some light disassembly here and then uh, get back to you guys. Alrighty, we've pulled our air tube off. DPFE is right in the center of the frame. Pete's looking his nice, uh, his dandy dandy uh, new Autel scan tool. Mortgage payment scan tool here. Yeah. Actually, not. This is pretty cheap. Oh. It's a little slow, but so am I when it's 40 degrees out, so. Yeah. Ford right. 150 5 liter, yes sir. Yup. So once we get the, the live data to show up here, we'll, I guess I can't start it, but I'll see what the, uh, actually I'll hook the tube up real quick and I'll start it and I'll see what the DPFE sensor is reading and compare that to. What the, the, what the factory yeah. specification is. Yep. So I got a feeling that's where our problem lies. Me too. Usually is with these these darn Fords. Yeah, you know you you know what they say, fix or repair daily. So, right, yep. uh, but other than you know really having that code, Bryn Martin fine. Right. And, uh, if you guys see, I got a brand new windshield yesterday too. Free, cut glass coverage on this. The Safe Light dude had it in in under an hour. Alrighty, once I get that VIN, put it in the scan tool, bring you guys back. Alrighty, we've reinstalled our air tube. Our intake tube. We've got our scan tool hooked up, and I'm not sure why this is not focusing. Oh, there we go. But we got a PO401, which is EGR system insufficient flow. Pete just got his laptop. Yes, yeah, sir. Bring up some repair information. Yep. Like you said, Will, we're smart. We, we don't just throw parts at stuff, right, Will? That's that's correct. Even pizza's bringing up Identifix. I could go through all that and go through the special test that way, but it's not worth it. No. Just easier to go see. to Identifix. Some people call it cheating. I call it a leg up. Oh. Was a piece of chunk in '97? It's I mean, a. It's yeah, a. Really beautiful. It's a 96, Pete. 96. It's it, in 97. They went to the, um, as I call them, the uh, the dick nose body style. <laughs> dick nose. I like that. Uh -oh. Ford F150 XL XLT. It, it's an XL. And it's a five liter. Five liter. That's French. That means five liter. <laughs> <laughs> In case you weren't sure. Uh-uh. All right, PO401. Let's see, let's see what it says, says too. Okay. Normal sensor voltage should be half a volt to 1.2 volts with a closed EGR valve. When the EGR valve is open with the engine running, the RPM should drop severely and the DPFE sensor voltage should increase to over three volts. The key on engine off or idling voltage is not half a volt to 1.2 volts. Make sure we have 5 volts present to the sensor connection on the brown and white wire. And make sure that the gray and red wire is showing a good ground. Right. So let's just uh, pull up our data PIDs here and uh, live data. My little uh, Autel, uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't do some of the the particular PIDs. Oh yeah, this one pretty much wipes my butt for me. Nice. I can program keys with this thing. I can I can do a lot. Nice. And it comes with a cool stylus. Yeah, that, I, can that, use to, I can use to clean my teeth. Yeah. You know. Like, and, and you can also lose that stylus probably too yeah. easily. Yeah, yeah. 
And we're establishing communication at the moment. I'll bring you guys back when this thing finally decides to communicate. Actually, we're almost done. 83, yeah. 84, 85. Come on, baby. Do it for Papa. All right, so. Alrighty, we're establishing communication we All again. Right. So, uh, gives us a lot of things to look through. So we're gonna scroll right down to, oh, here we go. Delta pressure exhaust gas or circulation, we have four tenths of a volt, which is in specification, but let's fire it up. Yeah. And see how we're looking. We're in spec, so let's keep going. Alrighty. I'm gonna whip out my handy dandy voltmeter. Alrighty. Make sure that I do have a good ground and power. Yeah. Well, actually, what we could even do to verify wiring integrity mm -hmm. is uh, just unplug the sensor, and if and if our reading goes to five volts. Yeah. We could, but. I don't trust the computer. Trust no computer. Yeah. <laughs> We're still hooked up and reading that uh, voltage, right? And it, and it went right to five volts, Pete. Did it? Good. So it said, uh, of course it said, uh, and all the, God damn it. The worst thing girls is the same color. What the fuck? Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can see. Wires are pretty much all the same color. Not very helpful. <laughs> Alrighty, bring you guys back when we figure something out. Alrighty, we did all of our testing, and what have we determined, buddy? We determined that we have a faulty DPFE sensor, so. We're gonna go ahead and pop one in and uh, take it for a blast, give it a good test drive, and I think we'll be back in business. Alrighty, buddy. DPF sensor on this one's pretty easy to get at. All you gotta do is take the one end of the air tube out of the way. And it's right there, right in the center of the frame. And Go. uh, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah. Then we got uh, we got two vacuum hoses connected to our two two hoses. Uh, we will verify that we do have flow through the hoses though. Mm. Yep. Alrighty. Bring you guys back when the new sensor is installed. Just about done putting our sensor in. We verified that we do have flow through the hoses. He's just gonna tighten down these two nuts. We'll plug the sensor back in. Gonna clear the check engine light, clear the codes, and take it for a ride and see what happens. See you guys uh, here shortly with our final diagnosis and hopefully a confirmed uh, repair. See you guys in a few. Alrighty, got uh, his Autel hooked up with our new sensor installed. And see, we're hovering right around 1 volt, which is more in the range than that old sensor was. So, and the car's still off, so the sensors, uh, the reading should, you know, if that other sensor was good, it should be reading that same, but it was not, so. So we've got a confirmed uh, fix. A confirmed fix. Heck yeah, Will. Yeah, alrighty, buddy. Uh, Let's clear this check engine light and call it good. Yeah, we'll take it for a ride. And, yeah. and then um, I've got my little auto with me as well. So I'm, I will, uh, I'll let you know if the, um, I'll let you know if the, all the monitors reset. OK, 
Okay, we got a P1000, which just means we cleared the codes. Sure, it's a good code. So we'll uh, we'll take it for a drive, and uh, I'll bring you guys back, and I'll uh, hook with my little scanner and show you guys that uh, all the monitors have reset. So I'll bring you guys back when we uh, well when I after I drive this thing. See ya. Alrighty, guys, down at the cottage now. Drove all the way from Pete's house, which is I think it's like about 30 miles. Got the key on, engine off. Gonna plug in our little Autel. Just a Autolink AL619. About a hundred bucks on Amazon. I'll throw a link to it in the description. Going into OBD2. And it's just communicating here now. Okay, we're connected. Alrighty, four out of our five monitors have set. Go okay. We're gonna go to our IM readiness, which is inspection and maintenance. Okay, our mill is off, so check engine is off. We don't monitor misfire, fuel system, comprehensive component. Uh, the only one incomplete here is the catalyst. Heated catalyst is not monitored in this vehicle. E EVAP is not monitored. Secondary air is okay. O2 sensor is okay. Monitor for that. O2 sensor heater monitoring is okay. EGR is okay and that's the system that we're having our problem with. So, replacing the DPFE sensor. This is actually a factory original one. It's metal. The new one is a plastic one. So we've got a confirmed repair. Thanks for watching. I'll throw a link to the DPFE in the description, as well as a link to this um, little Autel scan tool. It's awesome works with 96 and up. This is a 96 F-150 with a 5 liter V8 in it. So, like I said, thanks for watching guys, and we do have a confirmed repair of our PO-401.